All right, we're in round one. We've got the choice. We'll play first. And let's see here. Well, we just got a one lander, so I think it's best to mulligan that. All right. This hand's much better. We'll keep it. So getting that Air of the Wilds out first, I think, is our priority. Especially with the Alpine Grizzly follow-up. That would be insane. All right. Let's get that air out there. Got a Sultai land, so presumably Sultai deck. Uh-oh. Well, that was a sick uh, two-mana card to have. Well, missing our land drop, unfortunately. All right. Well, we're running 18, so... Presumably, we can find a land at some point. <laughs> well, maybe not. Yeah, we did find it. Unfortunately, it's tapped. But I guess we have Abzan Charm now, so that's better for us. Three cards left in our opponent's hand. He can start to use Parapet. Uh, does Grizzly do much for us? I mean, it puts a big presence out there. I could also morph a dude, but he's not coming up for a while. I think we're just going to drop the Grizzly and pass. Because then we can use Abzan Charm a little more effectively. For now, there's not much I'm too worried about. So he does have, s still has mana up. Well, maybe not. All right. Well, now I feel much more comfortable attacking with things. So I think we will do so. We're going to swing team because the Abzan charm here is going to be pretty insane. That's all he's blocking? All right. Well, if he wants to take some damage, then I guess uh, I don't have to use Abzan charm either, which is kind of nice. So I think we just uh, deal our damage, drop a witness, and pass. Is that how morphs work now? Is that a new patch? Or oh, that was weird. Did anybody else see that? I didn't have it highlighted, and it was like it was like showing me what it was. No attacks. He's got the mana up now, so now I might have to play it a little bit more chill. But that's actually okay because we can just play a hate blade and pass. I can still Abzan charm. We've still got our the fat of our deck that we're building towards, so um, now I care less about uh, attacking in. Abomination. Uh, I probably just want to Abzan Charm the Abomination now, but... Is there anything I'm worried about him having? 
He doesn't have white, so he can't do feet of resistance. He could bounce it in response, but I don't think I care about that. Let's wait till his turn. I could do it now, but I kind of want him to not know. I kind of am just a little bit more curious what's going to happen. If he's going to go. He is attacking. Okay. Now, I could take it, and I can crack back pretty nicely with the Abzan Charm, but he is going to start to get some pretty good card quality. So I guess I will bust the Abzan Charm. Get rid of his Flyer. I just don't want him to... Uh, I mean, he could have a counter spell, but it's not played too often in this format. So, yeah, I wasn't expecting him to have too much there, but he's presumably Sultai, so filling his yard and being able to, uh, you know, basically mill cards away is, is pretty beneficial. All right. Well, now we're in Ivory Tusk Fortress territory. We also can unmorph our morph. Unfortunately, he still has the surprise factor here. Well, we're at least swinging with the Hate Blade, so I think our best swings are these three. But this could be a Pine Walker, which would be a little bit of a blowout. But if it's another Abomination, I'm not worried about it. It's really only if it's a Pine Walker that I care. Um, I'm going to risk it because I've got the Fortress coming up. So we're just going to do these three. I guess I can actually just do the Hate Blade. Because I do want to play Fortress this turn quite a bit. So let's see if he blocks it. Okay, he's going to take it. So we'll drop the Fortress now. So at this point, uh, the Roar card is, is just straight up lethal. So we've got that going for us, which is pretty nice. Uh, our Morph guy uh, is probably getting in next turn, along with, I guess, the Morph and the Hate Blade together is a little more dangerous. But, ooh, that was harsh. Okay, well, pretty excellent use of Arc Lightning there, since I took care of two guys that I would very much like to have right now. But uh, not the end of the world, especially since we were fumbling for mana for a good, what, four or five turns, something crazy like that. Still has the resources to unmorph his guy. Well, not anymore, I guess, if he's going to do that. It's a bold move. I'm very curious what his morph guy is. All right, well, getting in with these dudes. I guess I could have gotten in with the student, too. That would have made sense. All right. Well, that's not the end of the world. I should have swung with the student, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm not thrilled about that trade, but we're still sitting pretty. He still has to deal with our Ivory Tusk Fortress, and even if he does, we still get the Colossodon, which is very good on this board, so I think we're sitting okay. All right, he deliberated and decided on using his mana like that. Here's our Roar of Challenge, but not lethal currently. So I think that we just progressed our board, swing at the Fortress, of course. Oh, hopefully not a kill shot. Well, Ponyback Brigade, not that big of a deal, actually. 
So we're just setting ourselves up for a Roar of Challenge lethal, uh, which is great. means we're in good shape. We've got a nice, presumably stalled board state until then. I guess he could have the rush of battle, but that's not even that's not even lethal. Uh, well, Smite's kind of a big deal. It's gonna it's a setback, but once again, it's not the end of the world. We just need a mana. Then we're in Tusk Colossidon territory. Then we just place. Uh, then we just need to. Well, unfortunately, kind of needed to be an untapped land, but that's all right. So now we just chill. We're still in good shape. Once I can resolve this tux, tusked Colossidon and uh, get in with my team, we are close to lethal, but I still do need to build some more creatures up on the board. And he needs to not have a removal spell, but if we can get all of those components uh, our way, we shall be good. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. I wish I could do something about that. Unfortunately, I cannot. So, yeah, I, I figured we were going to get flooded now because we've just not seen anything for the entire game. So, uh, land-wise. So, it makes sense that for the rest of the game, we're really going to see lands. But, uh, ideally, that's not the case and that we can draw better. So... I think we're probably going to be trading a Tusker for a Tusk Colossidon, which I really dislike. I didn't want to do that, but I'm not left a lot of options. All right, well, he's just drawing too good for us to really keep up with now, so it's just one of those things where I think we would be winning, but he's just outdrawing us, so that's why we're losing. It's kind of unfortunate. We were in an amazing position to win, but he's really just drawn completely uh, perfectly to defeat us, so big bummer. Very uh, unfortunate. I don't like it. Wish we could draw better, but I predict a lot of lands now. We've just, you know, managed to miss lands for the beginning of the game. So really it's like just not draw lands, but I think we both know we're we're just going to draw lands for the rest of the game. I, I had two lands for like the first four turns of the game. I'm running an 18 land deck. It makes sense that I'm not going to draw anything but lands <laughs> for the rest of the game. But uh, what would I like? Uh, I guess Abzan Charm. Uh, I need another four power guy, but at this point, I think every single four power guy in our deck is dead. Uh, that's a big bummer. I wish he didn't have an 8 8 for two mana, but he just continues to draw well, so I can't do anything about it. Um, we're really going to lose this pretty rapidly, though, unfortunately. Those draws just uh, completely shifted the board state, but we are always a Doom Blast away from uh, retaining a victory here, so that is true. We have a Doom Blast. Let's be uh, positive here. We just need a Doom Blast, and we're in good shape. Makes sense that we would draw land. Like I said, I'm not. I'm not even bummed about it. I'm not surprised in any way, shape, or form that we're drawing lands just makes perfect absolute sense since we were f screwed in the beginning it really doesn't make sense to me why he's not attacking with tusker that actually makes no sense whatsoever but i appreciate that he's not doing it because it's keeping us alive to potentially draw a doom blast keep progressing your board i beg you okay well we are going to die if i don't draw a doom blast here well what do you know So Doom Blast came right in the nick of time. Unfortunately, our opponent still has quite a few cards in hand. So we have uh, more than enough work cut out for us here. Got a lot of work. Roar of Challenge has become rapidly useless. Um, I'm not sure if I can actually even use it in this. Oh, what's he got? Oh, Dig Through Time. Wow. it's pretty incredible. Um... So yeah, Doom Blast just like uh, basically what 
seven for one him, something insane like that. And uh, it's the first time I've probably ever said I just seven for one my opponent, and I'm still extremely far behind. <laughs> extremely far behind this game. Dig Through Time is going to give him so many more options. It's insane. So that's probably the first time I've ever seven for one my opponent, and probably still feel like I'm going to lose it, honestly. That's that's probably really rare, guys, that you just witness a 7-for-1 in which the person probably is still going to lose. Like, I, I'm, I'm about 90% sure I'm going to lose this match. That's how confident I am that we are going to lose this, just based on cards he has in his hand, card quality he just got, um, how much life I have, how many lands I drew in the beginning. So I can't attack. All right, well, I'm going to Abzan Charm that, but I guess I might as well do it. Surprise factor. Make him unmorph his other guy. Yeah, wish I could do something about that. I mean, I have to exile his, his trampler. But I guess technically we're not dead. But we're close. I think I'm going to ditch the Roar of Challenge, not because it's bad, but because my opponent seems to have too much removal. So it doesn't feel like I would ever possibly make Roar of Challenge work without losing my board. He just has too much removal, which makes it difficult. So playing Highland game, at this point we're just grasping at straws to try and stay alive. Murderous cut. I have to kill the Freedy Weapon Master in order to do that. Um, all right, well, we're dead. Um, I guess I shouldn't be too bummed. Uh, things to keep in mind. We mulliganed. We were mana screwed. We still almost won. It really came down to our opponent drawing just phenomenally well uh, mid-game. mid, mid -game. Um, He just went removal, 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 uh, creature, 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 then follow up Dune Blast with creature, creature. So um, he just, he really did. I mean, he's got a great deck, but... Uh, he drew exceptionally well, exceptionally well, at a very, very critical point in the game. So uh, let's let's figure out if we can do a sideboard against him. I said the Roar of Challenges is going to be not that good against him. I think that's still true just based on the ridiculous amount of removal he's got. Um, I wish I had a Dutiful Return. Dutiful Return would be a phenomenal sideboard card in this match since he's got like 8 to 10 uh, removal cards. I think the problem is I, I can't, I, I don't have anything else to bring in. I don't have anything worthwhile to bring in. So I guess I, I have to leave the deck the way it is. And, uh, I don't know what I'm hoping for. I guess I'm hoping that I draw, I draw better than my opponent. That's all I really can hope for. So let's try it again. Uh, it's a good hand. We'll keep it. I think we're opening with the Highland game. There's no reason to get the Air of the Wilds exposed to a debilitating fatigue, so that was a good draw. Bitter Revelation will help, but let's get the Highland game down first. Much more willing to lose that. The Air of the Wilds is very good with the Roar of Challenge, too, especially if I can get that Ferocious online. Care much less if he debilitating fatigues our Highland game. All right. Uh, Murderous Cut's a good draw, especially when we have the 
bit of revelation next turn. Okay, he saved the injury, so pretty intelligent play on his part. I'll give him credit for that. All right, so get in for two. We get to bid a revelation. Hopefully find some big threats since we have a good amount of resources already. There we go. So choices. Well, I think Tusk Klossidon, what we want. Um... I guess Scavenger flies. He is running... Was he running Smite the Monstrous? I believe he was, yeah, because that's how he took care of our 5-7. So, absolutely Abzan Charm, and then it's Scavenger versus Colossidon. Hmm. I guess he is running Ponyback Brigade, but do I care about that? I'm not sure. I'm going to be putting... Three more cards in my graveyard, which would make the Scavenger only cost two, which is probably better with the Abzan Charm. That's tough. What do I like more? The Evasive Three Flyer that's possibly cheap, or the Big Dude? I guess the fact that Scavenger gets around Smite the Monstrous is pretty insane. Alternatively, our opponent does not have a White Source now. Let's take that for sure. And uh, the Ground Guy or the Flyer? Ground Guy or the Flyer? I'm going to take the Colossidon. I'm not sure if that's the right choice. There's a good chance that it's not. But uh, I just don't feel bad about it because uh, basically we've... I don't know. It's tough. I actually don't know. There's a chance that taking the Scavenger there was the right choice. I guess the main reason I like the Colossidon is how good it's going to be with Roar of Challenge. I like that we can take care of our opponent's creatures for a couple turns too that would have actually been a strong argument for the scavenger here but i mean at least we get the colossus on next turn i can also abzan charm up my highland game but then he gets exposed to uh smite the monstrous Hmm. That's interesting. Well, I guess we'll murder his cut then. Pretty solid two for one. Play the Colossus on. This forces him to basically kill it. So we'll get another hit in at least. All right. Just go ahead and bash in here. That's well, a bit of a bummer. Um, pretty tempted to... How many resources do I have? I have six resources. So I was going to say pretty tempted to Abzan Charm double pump my Highland game. But I think I'm just going to accept the trade and then slam my closet on again. It's 
might. Yeah, that's a bummer. I wish that didn't happen, but it did, so I have to accept it. Not happy about it, though. Pretty unhappy about it, actually. So let's get uh, Kieran down. Let's get Student down and then pass. You really needed that white source right at that moment, right after the bounce, to make that smite work, which is the frustrating part about it, but that's okay. Got the Abzan charm with the Kirin, which is good. So we have removal, we have Dune Blast. All, all good things. Um, pretty dangerous to use the Abzan charm blindly, so I think we'll wait. Yeah, well, I could deal what? I could deal... This would get pumped. I think we're going to wait, because it's actually lethal next turn. Anyway, I'm pretty sure. Well, I guess it's not now, and it would have been, but... He's got four cards in hand, and I know that his deck is like pure removal. That's the reason that I'm not using Abzan Charm to pump right now. But I got to admit, I'm pretty tempted here. Um, can I distribute two counters? It just seems dangerous and unnecessary, so I'm going to wait. All right. So I think we just Abzan Charm that away. I guess I do it on my turn. Makes more sense. All right. Pretty lethal now, so he's got to definitely do some some big stuff here to to bring it back. He's got a he's got a, he has a doom blast too. Okay. That's awful. I have to like F6 now too because I'm low on time. Especially since even if I win, I got to go to game three. All right, well, that's a pretty big bummer since I can't do anything about it, and it regens, and, I'm, and I can't do anything about it, and it regens. <laughs> so I can't even do Blast. If I get enough, I guess if I get enough board state, I can still do this, so it's not that bad. Um, does Highland Game do anything? Yeah, because if I can get enough creatures, I can, I think we just play it. Because I've got a couple outs now. I can Roar of Challenge or Dune Blast. I mean, alternatively, I can, you know, wait on the 
the Dune Blast and then play Highland game, but... Ugh, that is so awful. I'm really unhappy. Really, really, really unhappy with how this game is going, but I can't do anything about it except express my unhappiness, so... Super, super unhappy with how this game is going. Um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty shocked actually how how this how this game has panned out. I'm actually just in complete shock and awe. I thought we were doing phenomenally well, and we were, but our opponent has just managed to really just get us at every single every single turn here. So, oh, I'm I'm I guess I'm just praying he doesn't have removal for this Alpine Grizzly, so I can get in with Dune Blast. He's got Savage Punch now, too. There's no other reason he would have pumped. <laughs> this is so frustrating. You guys have no idea how frustrated I am right now. My level of frustration is like 11 out of 10. Yeah, this is, this is probably the most frustrated I've ever been in a match. No, that can't be true. I've, I've gotten more frustrated than this, but I am extremely frustrated right now. I feel like I've been... Pretty much robbed at every turn. Uh, so how many times can he pump this stupid thing? What, four times? Which is just ridiculous, which means lethal next turn. Which means I probably have to exile it. Which means I can't use draw two cards and lose two life. and Which means I'm getting hit by f for five. So, um, I Am I Dune Blasting to get rid of a Swarm of Bloodflies and then Abzan charming, charming when he pumps the Death Dealer? I guess so. Either that or take another five damage beating from Swarm of Bloodflies. Oh, no. I didn't have Zan Charm in response. I screwed up so bad. That's okay. I was in a hurry. I clicked too fast. I wasn't expecting the second one. I did screw up horribly bad, though. So that sucks. I'm disappointed in myself, but I'm just going to accept it. So I should have had Zan Charm in response. Of course, my opponent thinks I'm a dum dum because I am. That was awful playing on my part. Taking six damage unnecessarily. Still possibly win this. I screwed up so bad. So, at this point, I definitely deserve to lose. That was just ultimate failing on my part. Digging through time now, finding anything he needs or wants. So, basically, he's seen his entire deck now. Really wish I had uh, Abzan charmed that thing, Death Dealer, when I wanted to. So he didn't have a 6-6 six, six that's completely kicking my face in right now. But that was my bad. I screwed up horribly. Um, all right, we lose. Not much to say. Guess I'll unmorph this. I'll rope challenge it. 
let them burn it away in response, and then I'll concede. All right, well, it was a tough match. Uh, wish we would have done better. Really disappointed with how I played that, uh, but hopefully I learned some sort of lesson here, and uh, we'll see you in round two.